We're friends from high school, Beverly Hills High, but we didn't become close to our senior year when we had this like crazy this English project. Where <laughs> I want you to tell this whole story. All you, our teacher loves movies, so he would pick a. You had to pick from a hat or something a classical English book and then a classic film and then combine it into a film. So we got King Lear and the movie Chinatown. <laughs> And then you had also got a random prop that you had to combine. Into, it was it was bizarre. Extremely convoluted concept. And what most people ended up doing is they would just take the names from one of the movies and apply it to a sto- one of the stories because it, it was it was too hard otherwise. But continue. Wait, wait. So you took a book <laughs> and a movie, and you did, yeah. would do what with those then two? You have to write your own script, and combining cool. the films and the book and the book, and then this random prop. I remember. And then we all had to act and then all had to produce and film. And you direct. had to make a feature film. It's like a it mutated hybrid 10, film. 10 you film. had to make a film at the end of the day yeah. outside of the combining two separate stories. Basically. Yeah. Separate. It had to be a movie and a book. Yeah. There were already stories and written and published. Yeah. And then you had to make, okay. We and then we had a little Oscar ceremony called the Rubies because our, our teacher was named Dr. Rubenstein, and we all had to come in like black tie attire, and then we all it was like a whole thing. And he had bad. And he had past students come and like read out the winner is. is Trev, could you imagine like if you had an award show naming it the Trevies or something like that? That's like so <laughs> narcissistic. Love you, Dr. Rubenstein. Though he, he was a great cool. teacher, but but yeah, that's fun. when we got close, and then and then yeah, and then we've just been close ever since. Beverly Hills had my only history with Beverly Hills. Is playing football against them, you know. Sucked. Malibu High versus Beverly Hills. Yeah, you know, I th- most people would probably assume that Beverly Hills is in a powerhouse. Yeah. In football, we were yeah. really, really bad. We we lost all our good players back like 10, 15 years ago when they got rid of permits. So the Malibu Beverly Hills game might have been the worst game in all of West LA. I would say. But was Malibu good? No. No. Oh. Beverly was the worst. Was Beverly was so bad. I was in marching band, so I had to be at every single one of those games. Wait, wait you were like, <laughs> what was your role in marching band? I played clarinet. I marched every Friday. It was, and it was, it was kind of sad because our team sucked so bad. It was like, we couldn't rally up any morale, you know? But So you were like pretty cool in high school. Is what it sounds like. <laughs> she was cool, bro. <laughs> Marching band and dance, so like it, it balanced. Okay, so okay. it equal out, equal out. Okay, yeah, but the marching band, that was that was a time. But yeah. that's a lot of time to dedicate. Yeah, it's a lot of time to dedicate to that. Yeah, for so sure. you were like all in on marching. Yeah. Well, oh my god! Like, the, the but where did it, well, where did it start? Like, were you like in high school? Like, this is you just like the music part. No, or okay. you know how you like were- being part of it. Like, <laughs> were, you, were you like like it was like a social group where you hang out and you party? Oh my god! Like those kids, like the band kids, who like get all like just crazy and shit because you know you're like, oh, we don't really know what they do. They're like not athletes, but like they throw out. You know, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you know when you're in sixth grade, when you're fifth grade entering sixth, they make you pick an elective. I picked band because there was a really cute boy that I really liked and he was choosing band. So I went into band six to eighth. And then when I went to high school, my family, my family was like, this will be great for college on the college app. So I was like, all right. And I did it. And it was, I mean, we went to London, like we were a good marching band. We got invited to perform in London on new year's. And then we performed at Disneyland. You know, have you been to Disneyland and yeah, you see the band song? Yeah. I'd say choir as like, I had taken art at one point in, in high school. Yeah. I took choir. Yeah. It was the only one that fit in my schedule. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we were supposed to go to Disneyland on a Friday. <laughs> and uh, as like a for this competition or whatever, yeah. jamboree of sorts. <laughs> and um, I had a baseball game on Friday too. And I told the teacher, I was like, the choir teacher, I was like, I'm not going to this fucking <laughs> Disneyland shit, dude. I got to go play baseball. All right. Like we have some serious business. We have some serious business to handle on the baseball diamond. Nah, okay? You made the right decision. You got to be with the like, you Can you imagine? I mean, you know what? You know why it was such a loss for her and the rest of the choir? Because you're I think so I was, good. That was the only natural base, technically. Mm, but I never would have heard the end of it from your teammates if you left. Exactly. Are you kidding me? Like I can, yeah, I can hum and that's social suicide. I can be a you know natural base from the dugout. I can do that. <laughs> but yeah, wait. What was the other place you said it wasn't Disneyland? And where London. else? London. Yeah. So did you guys get all well, like? I mean, you know. So what? You didn't answer the question. Are, are the band kids like the crazy <laughs> marching band? Like, are they as 
you know they're pretty rowdy i knew it <laughs> they they had fun with like amongst themselves and i'll tell you there was so much band drama the amount of i mean band kids are feral they were like the most feral kids in all of high school yeah it was crazy they would be making out in all corners of the place it was crazy it was fun i didn't partake but you know it was, it was did fun. you have any like disruptive class members that you remember that you like you know you know like the good kind of disruptive ones oh, yeah. The ones that you don't know what I'm talking about, no. like a oh, funny God. kid who like just kind of bothers the teacher a little bit. Oh, dude, the the funniest thing my friends and I would do in high school sophomore year, we had we had you, everyone had to do an elective, and we were in the acting elective that produced all the you were the theater uh, productions. I can't act to save my life. <laughs> so I was on the tech side helping build things with my friends. And, you know, we were pretty solid. So we'd finish building our things for the day and then we'd have 20 minutes of class. This is, mind you, 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. And we would just mess around and we would go din dong ditch our friends in other classes and then just run away. And we didn't actually get caught. So <laughs> it was really fun. That was that was good times. That's so funny. Ding dong ditch is a, ding dong ditch is a good prank. A solid prank, like it's 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 um it gets the job done, but it doesn't harm anyone. We would also but like it gets the job done. Take it a step further. We would open the door to bring <laughs> his name and then run. <laughs> I feel like I remember that. Yeah, we we didn't would you do guys that. do that to the Chinese class? Or we we did it to multiple classes. There was no like d discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> we did it to any open classroom at the front. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, he wants, he wants to clarify. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> any class with a friend, yeah, one of them <laughs> was every sort of class. <laughs> math, English. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your laugh is killing me. <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what I'll say. Good times, bro. All right, uh -huh. how did you guys meet? Through yeah. you? <laughs> That's no, the... but I forgot. Like, I, for um, I don't oh, know. When, um, bungalow. You picked me up from Bungalow. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was fun. What, yeah. was, um, what was your first impression of Trevor Sharon? I mean, it was dark in the car. Like, it, was, it wasn't like we were like meeting, like shook hands and like eye to eye. It was like, I got are you a, are you a hand? Are you a handshaker? Are yeah. you, do you have a good handshake? I think so. I can't remember who said this. I shook somebody's hand and, and they said, I have a strong grip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that I've said that, now that I said that out loud, I'm kind of no, like. Funny, like he's, he's, no one goes, just good handshake. Like, is it like an old man or something like that? No, it's a boy my age. Like, oh. no, he, I don't think he said strong grip. It was a strong handshake. Maybe he's strong. Okay, you have to just, yeah, just like paraphrase it. Like, no, yeah, strong grip and buy something else, I think. Are you guys a hug or handshake with the opposite sex when you first meet them, or do you play? Uh, I like hug. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's less, less weird than a handshake, honestly. Yeah. It's weirder? No, a handshake is like, it's like- It's weirdly formal. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Just, yeah. I had a really embarrassing moment, actually, literally yesterday. Um, I was at the gym with my pal Jacob, um, recurring guest on this podcast of course <laughs> yeah he was actually on last yesterday oh great yeah we'll have to check it out yeah um so we were at the gym and in an area of the gym that was pretty dimly lit and this girl comes up to him and hugs him and like clearly is friends with them they knew each other and i didn't fully recognize her at first so i just put my hand out and shook her hand i'm like hey i'm isaiah and she's like i, I know who you are we've met multiple times and I was very embarrassed. And I just said, oh, it's the light. You, you look a lot better in this lighting. And the lighting was really dim. <laughs> you said that. Why did you have to make a comment so on how she looked? When it doubled down. It was, it was so embarrassing. And then um, she was really cool about it. And then Jacob and I were laughing after. I'm like, wow, I looked really dumb in that moment. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, a Jim hug is kind of, we, it's kind of a tough it's kind yeah. Of, yeah, it's better to go for the handshake. It's just tough there. when someone remembers you and you don't remember them. I was like, it's a huge insult. 
<laughs> it's so offensive. I didn't feel great. Not one of my finest moments, but you know, I think this podcast is a good place to be vulnerable, discuss things that you might not with other people. And then also you can, uh, you can have fun when you talk about some of your wins. Yeah. Have you had any wins recently, Sharon? In, in life. In in life? Take this wherever you want. A good new record. Not since being in marching band. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I don't think you could win more than when what those kids were getting up to. After I heard that, I was like, that's champion. I don't know if I can think of anything. I'll be real, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but I mean, maybe something, but I, I don't, I have a, I get worried about jinxing things. You know what I mean? So I'd rather not mm. say it before. Um, I feel that. You know? you know, Shireen's actually an actress, Trev. I don't know if you knew that. Of course you know. I, of course I knew that. <laughs> but but I knew that. doesn't. Yes, uh, fair, yeah, fair. Why don't you tell, tell the our, Yeah, tell our guests. Tell our guests just about that. About, about it. Yeah, about it, about acting, about, you know, what it takes to be, you know, to have that it factor. You know what I mean? Oh my God. That's, that's, I mean, charisma, I guess. Charm, I think, I think it's a big thing where beyond acting skills, obviously you have to be a good actor, but I always think about this, about how there's certain people who you can envision being good at doing like a late night talk show and people who wouldn't be. And I just feel like that's sort of like what I think of as like the it factor, you know what I mean? To be like a star, cause yeah, but it's hard. I'll be real. It's really hard, but I love it. So I keep doing it, but people don't realize how hard it is. It's just so much rejection over and over and over. And that's why I feel like people should only get into it if they really love it and can deal with a hundred rejections, you know, over and over. That's real. So yeah, but it's really fun. Yeah. Real talk. If you, so if you could star in a movie with any actor or actress, I have thought about this myself. Great Wait, question. have you? Yeah. Okay. What's your answer? Jack Black. You guys would crush as a company. Yeah, we'd kill it in some sort of. That's, did you a, that's an answer. Think of what I don't know, just composition of the film would be. I don't know. Maybe like your mind trap. Like yeah, like student. He could be like my professor. Like he could. He could be in that role. I'm thinking. You know, kind of how like how he was in School of Rock. Yeah. But more of like mm. senior, more of like fatherly, like avuncular kind of like Robin Williams. You know, like that kind of yeah. vibe and Goodwill Hunting. That would be great. Yeah, you know, I would. Want yeah, to. so serious thing. Like a little more, but like also kind of funny too. Okay. Jack Black, I could see him back in. I could back see in like you guys like, role, like he's my professor. Before it's too late, so it's, maybe father and son. That would be that'd be really sweet. Honestly, we go on like a road trip. I that would be so cute. Or we like live we're like live in the city or like something like that. I don't yeah. know. You ever like see that. Tropic Thunder? I have seen it. That's I could imagine. I gotta rewatch that. Maybe like a a fifth character that was just a young a young kid there, and Jack Black is a terrible influence on you. That could also be pretty. Funny. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, I could be in a role where he really negatively influences me. I would like that. <laughs> I think that would be a good role for me. Yeah, you would. Not like, like I grow as a character, and like I have like a whole arc. One where like I have a whole downfall. <laughs> yeah. 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 So what about you? I think you have a lot of time to think about this. It's hard. There's so many. Like probably Florence Pugh. Mm. Mm. She's That's my favorite answer. right now. Um, but I would also love uh, Paul Mescal. If anybody sees yeah. his work, I the only Paul Mescal interaction I had was my first job out of college at CAA. I was doing a reception for a bit, mm -hmm. and he called. And I had no idea who he was. And my friends were like, that was Paul Mesco. I'm like, who? He's so cool. I love him. He's great. I mean, he's going to be in Gladiator. He's oh, that'll Gladiator. be big for yeah. him. That's sick. Yeah, for sure. Um, Shireen. you, though? Oh, me? Yeah. Damn. I guess uh, Bob Odenkirk, Scarlett Johansson. Ooh, that's a sick. Okay. That's a sick. Yeah. He would, he would just be so cool. Yeah. Angelina Jolie. That'd be a pretty cool mm -hmm. person to act next to. Um. Did you hear Florence Pugh's coming out with that Andrew Garfield movie? That yeah. It's going to tear people's hearts out. I think it was sort of recency bias because I just saw an Instagram video before I came here. But now that I thought about it, you know who actually would be the biggest dream? Ki Hui Kwan. Ooh. Have you, do you know him? Yeah. Is he in Everything Everywhere? He's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. He's like just such a sweet won, man. Like, he, what? He won an award. Yeah, he won the Oscar. I'd exactly. love to be his That's daughter. True. That would be great. 
in a in a future movie. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Not no. like in life. Not in real life. I mean, sure, in real life, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna, you go. The role that I want to play is is the daughter. You're yeah, like, I'm gonna be his daughter. I I'd love him to be an uncle, a like Shireen. a godfather, maybe. I like, wanted to cute. adopt me. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he's a wholesome man. I love that. Yeah, but yeah, that would be so great. What about um? All right, you can be in any current TV show right now as a new character, and you can pick your role. What show are you choosing? White Lotus. Steamy. Or Euphoria. Because I know they're, I mean, they're doing the new season. Euphoria would, that, that would if be it sick. ever gets made. Yeah. I think it will. But that would does. Would you be a troublemaker in Euphoria or someone who kind of brings a calm in the storm? I kind of want to be a troublemaker. <laughs> I want to be like a villain or something. Well, that won't be too hard to act. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. Truly, it wouldn't be. <laughs> but yeah, it's always more fun to play like. A troublemaker than just the straight character, you know? I can't act, so I actually would go with the safer one because if I tried to... Okay, that, yeah, but just in terms wait, of... Why like, don't you think you can act? Yeah. I have, I've acted in, in a, a movie before that was made by my friends and I. It's actually on Amazon Prime. It's over an hour. And we all came to the cl- conclusion that I'm not a good actor. <laughs> well, you, you've you never had lessons, so you can, you can develop it. Thank you. Maybe maybe one day. Um, Trev, what about you, bro? Acting? Yeah, it's a very you natural extension it? of a yeah. comedian. Yeah, yeah. I did, I've done, I did a, what's it called? Some acting class in New York. Oh, wait, you did? A couple, it wasn't like at a, a formal place, but it was oh. at, it was through like, I mean, it was like a class, but I it just- It was like at a through, studio. Yeah, yeah. Do you like, know the name of it? It's called the Producers Club. Okay. I don't remember, it was just like a place I did a comedy and they were like, oh. they did a class as part of the place. How so did you like the, it? I liked it, it was fun. We did, like a, we did like a tape, we did a self tape. Okay. Yeah, it was like a, it was what it was really. It was just like a mock self tape class mm-hmm. kind of deal. So I memorized the sides. It was fun. Yeah. I had all do all these different things, and the teacher was like, he was like a good direct. Like he was he had good direction. He was helping mm-hmm. the students. This show just ended, but you would have been really good as a cameo in Curb as a young character. Oh my god, dealing with Larry. Like, I, I miss out. See you. Be, like you guys get in an argument about something, and you stand your ground to him, even though you're. 50 I would have liked to have been, yeah. I should collab. I should be in something with him randomly. Yeah. That would be good. I think that'd be a good idea. Be a good, he should play my grandpa in something. Oh, that would be good. That'd be fun. Yeah, he should play my grandpa. You guys would bicker. Yeah. yeah. It'd be healthy, comedic bickering. Yeah. I'd also, I, I met him one time and. Tell us about that. I'm, I met him and I cried after because Larry David is my idol. He is like. I I am obsessed with Larry Enjoy and I had club. such a good experience with him. He was so nice. We took a picture. It was, it was really great. I should have, and he was actively filming. I should have said something. I was like, let me say something. Let me be in it. But where, where was this at? It was at Westwood directly next to boiling crab because I was eating at boiling crab. And I was like, what are they filming next door? And she was like, curb your enthusiasm. And I was like, no way. Cause that's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> Ever. So funny. You know what? Curb is, I'm realizing, such an LA thing. And people outside of LA. Incredibly. Don't, it's crazy because I have it in my hinge prompt, one of them, because I think it says a lot about a guy if they like similar shows as you. And I'm not going to put like the most common shows that everybody likes. So I put Curb, and a lot of people are like, <laughs> a lot of people are like, what is that? Or like, you know, why it's an LA thing too is because like, you'll be surprised when someone who's not from here doesn't fully get it and like watch it. You're like, yeah. Oh wow. Like what? Like I thought everyone, like I had some friends on the East coast that watched it in college, Uh huh. but like, yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't it just makes more sense. But I think a lot of people like Midwest or like some like places like that, they just, they don't get it. They don't get the humor. And like- yeah. Yeah. What I love about curb so many things, of course, is, the humor is great, but there are inside jokes such as when he's talking about the best shortcut to get from the valley to the four hundred five. Yeah, you don't need to be from here to get the comedic aspect of it. Of the idea of one person saying a secret and everyone else becomes mm-hmm. about it. But the fact if you're from LA, it means so much more because you're thinking, "Yeah, I've been through that issue." So it's just the best. Yeah, that's very fair. And about the industry sometimes and things like that. And yeah, but I can't imagine being with somebody that doesn't like curb. Or doesn't I get. Curb. I don't think I could do it. I know, right? I don't think I could either. So I'm glad my hinge prompt is on there because I, I like when somebody can vibe with it. 
Yes. Yeah. I agree. How's Hinge been going? It's been interesting. I've never asked. I've never had the perspective of the opposite. Really? Ever? No, I I, only, I barely talk about it with my buddies, my guy friends. <laughs> okay. But well, really, or I, like openly, like, what, what's Hinge like from your, from your Okay, view? I have so much fun talking to my girls about Hinge. We'll, like, FaceTime and screen share and, like, go through the people. Like, it's so fun. Ah, interesting. It's just, like, smash or pass, you know? It's like a game. And so... I've only been on it for like three weeks because I've like recently been single in the past few months, but um, I haven't seen anybody off the app. That's a big step I'm not ready to take, <laughs> but it's fun to just, you know, scroll and whatever and then chat with people. And that's all. It's all for fun really right now. I don't, he's had more success. I heard you match with a really cool person on Raya. Is that true? Who potentially is an actor who's been we in some big movies. About <laughs> I'm not yeah, blasting that. I don't know. She's on riot too, everybody. She's on riot. Too. I am on riot. No big deal. Like us pedestrians can't make it on there, but Shree. I love my a lot of our friends who just work in the industry. If they've been in an agency or like PR, can get on it. It's actually not hard. I had another yeah. friend who's not even really in the industry at all, and she got on yesterday. I think. Well, but you know what? I think it's easier for girls to get on Raya. I think the qualifications for a girl is mostly just to be pretty that shocks me but i think for guys <laughs> they want you to have a good job and blah 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 blah. so that's what i think but raya raya's tough i don't know i'm paying 25 dollars a month for it and i i might have to cut that out of my monthly bill because i don't think it's worth it and a lot of the guys i see on raya are also on hinge so it doesn't you don't need it trev and i spoke about this last podcast but we really believe in the power of meeting in person. Right? I agree. Yeah. Facts. It's hard though. Yeah. In LA too, just basically get to drive. Everywhere you <laughs> it's do. not that, but at a bar you're seeing like what a hundred guys, but on hinge you're seeing all these people from all over LA. Whereas say I'm going to bungalow and bells every weekend. It's the same people almost every single weekend. But, Do you recognize faces? No, no, no. Well, actually run into some same groups of people at like say Bells and then Bungalow. It's always like the same people going to the same place. But yeah. it's so much better to meet somebody in person because when I meet somebody on an app, I don't want to meet them in person because I'm so scared they're not going to be what they look like in their pictures. And then the in-person vibe is a whole different thing than your texting vibe. So when you meet somebody, like the nerves are gone from the first date, the first meeting, because you've already met, you know? So it takes away all of that. Sort of understand that. But I have gone on a decent amount of like hinge dates for never meeting. They just just meeting the girl from the app and then going and showing up. And it's not yeah, it's just interesting from a girl's perspective. I don't know if it if it's like I'm not like nervous about it. Okay. I don't well, know why. Well, maybe it's because I'm new to dating, but I'm I get really nervous. I don't wanna I'm just nervous about like that conversation of like, what if it's gonna yeah, be the conversation and like, what if I meet him and I'm like, oh no, I'm not into this. Here, you're not as cute. And then I want to leave and then I'm stuck. So you, so you think there's an instance where have you been catfished before by some like, no, shocked, like, no, but like, I was crazy. Well, I like, <laughs> super deceiving. <laughs> I haven't been anybody off the app, but I've heard people have had that experience. But also, I've seen people <laughs> that I know in real life on the app. And there's been times where I'm like, you are either much better looking in your photos or much worse looking in your photos. It's interesting, but it's almost never on par with what they look like in real life. It's really? Yeah. Interesting. Wow. It, it's a weird phenomenon. I, one time I thought the opposite. I saw a girl, she, I thought she was cute on Hinge and it, you know, pretty, pretty in person, yeah, I honestly. I don't know what the, what the- That's that's the ideal. I, I was interested. I was I was interested in to, to know why that, why, I don't know. Her photos were nice, but she looked even better in person, I thought. Oh, she looked better in person. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, it was great. That's Yeah, I was like, wow. Outcome. Maybe she didn't post like a photo of her, like just snooks up sitting in front of her and talking to her. And I was like, oh, I don't think she had a photo like that. It was directly of like, just like her. They're all kind of at, like the same. I angle. almost always think people um, look are better in person than in photos. I can honestly when it's in motion, that, yeah. it's like, it's just better rather than just like a still photo, you know? Yeah. Also, I don't, I mean, looking at photos of 
myself, I'm like, I felt like I looked better just in real life than in the photo. <laughs> if that makes any sort of no, sense. No, it then, totally does. I'm like, why did I feel better about, like, even though that was like, not that big of a deal. It's like a group photo. I'm like, just a random one from like, I went to a dinner. Yeah. I was like, I like I looked better than I did in the photo. Well, you know, it's a thing where girls show their friends pictures of the guys they're seeing and it's like, oh, no, 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 you know, he's a guy. Like, he he looks way better in person. We all know. Oh, is that what they say? Yeah. You have to really? add, like, plus a point or two to what they look like in the photos. Interesting. I did not know that. Almost always, yeah. The three of us took a photo together in Malibu at the Chili Cook-Off. That was a, good, that was a cool ago. photo. I think we all looked good. There was one photo. good photo. And then there was the one where we were with a larger group. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was it was from further away. It was dark, and no one no one looked good. I remember, yeah, with Jacob and everybody, yeah. Oh, so that'll have that, that'll have that effect on the photo. It was it was pretty rough. It was like twenty feet away. We were all looking very dimly lit, but um, it's all good. It you know, good. we got in there. It was worth the fifty dollars. Shit, now we truly could go. Wasn't shout out. <laughs> You got to get the tickets like four months. Oh my God, God, I'm no, arguing no. about this. Like I get them four months early. They're like, 15 have you been going for years? Yeah. He, he makes us all go every year. Oh, you've gone. Oh, you've all gone. Okay. I didn't know. I thought you were first. He loves it. He's obsessed. I mean, not as much of a vet as you. Yeah. But. You know, I didn't go for a locals night this year. My, uh, for Sunday, my aunt and uncle who have lived in Malibu way longer than me, obviously they were bemoaning how it used to be much more, you know, like smaller, quaint, local, and now it's gotten so quote unquote big. And I, I just say, I mean, I enjoy it, man. I think it's a good time, um, especially for the kids. It's like their one opportunity to get outside of like their parents' realm and really like I almost up. knocked over like two kids when I was running from the the spin wheel to the gravitron. Remember, I got really like all you were ran over. Line back up there. Yeah, I was like, turn. I was so excited. I was like, we got to get in line. They're going up to the gravitron. Yeah, and I was not. Yeah, I knocked them over, but I didn't. I like stopped and like barely like. <laughs> Missed them. That was that, that was actually crazy. Funny. We got those fried Oreos. <gasps> those are really good. Some yeah. So I didn't believe that they had fried Oreos all this time because normally when I when a place has fried Oreos, one of these carnival esque things, food fairs, they advertise it. These places don't advertise it as heavily. You gotta look at the menu closely by the window to see. I that feel like it's not a popular menu item for LA girl. Yeah, it's not a good brand connection for no, that. No, yeah. but it's crazy the concept of a fried like Oreos already like an Oreo. You're gonna fry that <laughs> shit like damn, it's crazy. It's so good. How about the? What did you get? Tell us. Tell us. I, what I you made a order. poor order choice by the end of the night. I I thought I was hungry, but I wasn't, and I ordered a lobster melt and. After one bite, I just said to myself, wow, I, I just really wasted $25. And then I gave Trevor some and he kindly ate a bit. I did have a piece of courtesy bite. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Right? I thought about this. The seafood cheese combo is not one that I look favorite. Yeah. Mm. I think I should probably I don't like fish and cheese them. together. It's a very good call. Yeah. I'll just go lobster roll. I do like one. lobster roll. Like lobster yeah. like dish it. Lo although weirdly lobster mac and cheese maybe is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, oh, kind, of a, it's right. kind of it's kind of, it's the only one I for some reason. It's an exception. That is good. A lot, a lot of good food there, but um yeah. I thought that was a fun moment for us to hang out and yeah. it was just a good time. It's awesome. like summer's ending.